So, you're here to put your affairs in order? Well, no, initially just to uh, weigh up the options. Okay. Uh, under the will I've here, you leave everything to Joseph and a small legacy to Zoe. But of course your marriage automatically invalidates that. Does that mean Charity would get everything? No, no, she will get half. And the children of the family, that would include Joseph and your new stepdaughter, would get the rest. So Debbie is entitled? Yes. If you die without making a new will, then she would have a claim as child of the family. In cases like this, I would always strongly advise making a fresh will. That way you can leave your money where you like. But Charity would still be entitled to half, presumably. No, you can leave her as much or as little as you like. What about a legal guardian for Joseph? Have you thought who you might want to appoint? I'm sorry. It's my job to say these things. Yeah, I know. It's just making it sound all so horribly real. I'm sorry. No, you're right. The important thing is to sort all this out. So I can look after the people that I really, really care about. Like Joseph and Charity. Why don't I go and get us a few beers from the shop, eh? And make an afternoon of it. Answer me. No, King, that's enough. <sighs> Look, like we agreed, yeah? Debbie comes back to me. Yeah. As long as you stick to your side of the bargain, no shutting me out. I've said, haven't I? You won't be able to keep away. There's no way Tate can match me. Oh, once and for all, will you stop calling him Tate? Can he? You want an answer for that? Okay, I'll give you one. He is my husband. What does that usually mean? I don't know. I've never been married to a vegetable before. Get off me! No! Get off! Don't you ever use a word like that about Chris again! <laughs> <laughs> 